And to other stories, farmers around some of the most fertile parts of Nigeria are gradually abandoning their farmlands. Some of the farmers explain that the multiple challenges they face are becoming overwhelming. Correspondent Larry and DME traveled to the banks of the Lubo River in the Benue Basin to talk with farmers and has this report. The Nigeria Bureau of Statistics estimates that the prices of food items have increased by 26.9% in one month. Most Nigerians do not need the official data. They feel the pinch in their pockets and their stomachs every day. To discover why the cost of food has gone through the roof, I journeyed to one of the most fertile food belts in Nigeria, the River Benue Basin. The lush, beautiful green farmlands along the banks of Lubo River that flows into River Gongola is a wonder to behold. In the past, rainy season or dry, these farmlands produced throughout the year. Now, everything is changing. Before all this place is farm, people are uh, farming rice here. But now, due to the flood, now it covers all farm here. Would sun now cover all the farm now? It become a river. Rabo took me deeper into his farm to explain the challenges the farmers face. Passing through different crops, my experienced guide explained the reason some of the crops look yellowish rather than dark grey. The best fertilizer you can use is golden, and now golden in markets about thirty thousand naira. The one that the government used to give is not like that. Garden because they are selling it maybe 21 and dress. Some of the fertilizer are 20, 20, 10, 10, some are 15, 15, 15. So you have to go for the best one. As we proceeded further, we came across several abandoned farmlands, beautiful with short grasses, potential food going to waste. That guinecon is all his own, but you could not be able to get en enough money to cultivate here. That's why just leave it like that. It's on that. Unto God. Next year, uh, he expressed difficulty from his family because since he could not be able to cultivate this place, I don't, I don't think how he can survive to get what they will eat with his family. So maybe we will end up begging people for the food. Sonny's rice plantation is the center of his life. His sisters and brother work for him. Aside from other issues, his main challenge are hippopotami. When they are hungry, they are coming out for this food. When you say you are controlling them, controlling them or preventing them from eating the rice, then they will start pursuing you again, attacking you, because you are trying to, to stop them from eating their food. So we always, when we see them, they are vexed like they will start attacking them, and we see them, they are trying to retaliate or attack on them, we almost run away. Sunny and Rabo are both worried. They hear Nigerians complain about food prices, but they fear that if the concerns of farmers, both impute and security, are not swiftly and holistically addressed, food prices will be much higher next year and fewer farmers will be able to cultivate their land. This year we are really complaining that the food in the markets are very, very costly. But what I'm thinking, the one for last Nessie will be worse than, worse than this year because most of the farmers, since the fertilizer is very, very costly, most of the farmers cannot afford buying fertilizer. So they reduce the, the size of their farm because when you have large scale of farm and you don't have fertilizer to apply, it's like you are coming back to zero. If government can give us loan, Maybe three to four hundred thousand, or depending on the farm one has, then you can be able to use it for the farming. Maybe after have harvesting uh, October, November, or December, then you can remove uh, to to pay back for the loan. There is water, and there is horrible green lush land. But many of the farmers here have abandoned their farms and others who have planted are not expecting a bumper harvest due to the many challenges that they've spoken about. They're hoping that the administration of Bola Tinobu and its commitment to agriculture will bring needed relief and save them from falling deeper into extreme poverty. From the banks of Lubo River in the Benway Basin, Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.